Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create or how to get a free domain for Blogger in 2023. Creating, of course, a Blogger uh, blog with a free domain in 2023 is an excellent way to share your thoughts and ideas with the world. So, this guide will walk you through the steps by getting or for getting a free domain for your Blogger's blog. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and choose a domain provider. You can start to do so, of course, you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the, uh, the Brave browser and of course in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open your browser, you'll simply have to start by choosing, of course, a domain provider that offers free domain names. Some options to consider are freenom, uh, dot, uh, dot tk, or even like Infinity Free. You can visit their websites to explore available domain extensions. As an example, you can go and look for them all. As an example, let's just go for freenom.com and hit the enter button. Okay, I type it like wrong. So freenom. Dot com, which will take us right away to the home screen or main screen. So let's go to dot dot ck, and the last one, uh, maybe they have a problem. So we just go dot ck and go to this first. Yeah, and finally, of course, the last one just gonna be infinity. Infinity. Infinity free. Dot com again, and hits the enter button. So for you, make sure to go and access all of those and explore their options to see where you are going to get your free domain. So as an example, you'll have to check the availability of every domain. As an example, so I'm just going to type here, I don't know, test.com, or I'm just going to type a test and let's see, check availability and see if we are going to get something. I guess we will have to type like the domain name after. Or I guess you'll have to, of course, to sign in into your accounts before even like gets that. Let's just go for this as one as an example. Let's just go for test.com tk or tk i guess because it's the domain name of that and check for availability and here as you can see we'll have to wait a bit it should take like or it might take from two minutes to uh to five minutes so of course for this you'll have to log into your account if you have an account if you don't you'll have to go and create an account then of course you'll have to go for free hosting options so remember, let's just log into our account first of all as you can see they log me right away into my account because i already have an account once you do so of course as you can see i have no account here so i'll simply have to click on new account and as you can see the domain type do you want a subdomain or custom domain as you can see the domain name service must be set to the ns1.infinity.com and ns2.infinity.com first and you can learn more so the domain name is example it's going to be something like this dot as an example let's just go for helper free dot com let's see if that is working click on check availability as you can see never servers perfects as such as reserved keywords are not allowed in domain name so let's just remove that as an example and let's check availability for that so as you can see the domain help uh, free.com is available so what you will need to do now is simply uh, enter the account label so this you can list this as this as an example websites for free helper or and then you'll have to, of course, to enter an account password. So as an example, I don't know what password is that. So as an example, I'm just going to here enter like a password. Let me just go and enter that and I'm coming back. And of course, once I finish, I'll have to simply click on create accounts. As simple as that. So as you can see, once I enter my password, they told me that the domain is not yet pointing to our name service, which is this that showed us. So make sure to please change name service at the domain name provider and wait for a few hours for the changes to take effect. You can also create an account with a free with a subdomain first. So as an example, let's just go back. You'll if you want, you can create like a subdomain and simply enter your subdomain here. As an example, I'm just going to do the same example with the helper free. And as you can see, the domain extension is going to be this. You can even change it for whatever you want here. As an example, you can go with infinityfreeapp.com and check availability here. And as you can see, it's working. So here you will have to use that as an example if you don't want to change the name servers. If you own a, like, as an example, a domain name. And once you're here, I'll just enter the account password again and I'm coming back. Once I do so and once I click on create an account, I'll be taken here. So as you can see, account created. Your account has been created with this username. And what you'll need to do, of course, is this. It will take a few minutes for your account to be set up. Sorry. 
to be set up but you can of course log into the control panel already this it can take up to three days for the new domain to be visible anywhere or everywhere due to the dns catching and as you can see please log into the control panel once enable to enable all features not sure what to do next you can simply click on see this guide as an example for some ideas to know how to get started an example so you can open the control panel from here if you don't know nothing what to do you can simply complete this guide from here and here you are we have a domain name now what we'll need to do of course let's just quit all of those and we choose like we used like here the infinity free so we'll not need those and of course from here what we'll need to do is simply once we have now we have like our domain name so click on finish and here we are now we'll have to go and use like a website builder which where we will uh, build our blogger websites or our blogger blog so as an example let's just use wordpress go and open a new tab go to wordpress.com and hit the enter button once you do so you'll be taken to the home screen or main screen and of course make sure to log in into your account at the top right corner if you have an account but if you don't you'll have to go and create an account i've already made a video on how to create a wordpress website if you need some guidance doing that once you're here of course make sure to go as an example to your site title here if you have it but if you don't make sure to go and create a new one for me i have one or i can even simply go and click on add a domain here uh, as an example and try to simply enter my domain name here as an example so the domain that i got from here as an example let's just look for it here is it and look for it here and of course you'll have to simply link that domain into your wordpress website once you do so you can simply click on add uh, the title and of course from here you'll be able to edit your site or your blog depending however you want so you can set up your https example enable the https for your bloggers blog to ensure that a secure connection and this is usually done by the blogger settings and may uh, require some time to take some some time to take effects and then of course once you edit everything in your blog as you can see it's like uh, empty now for me you will have to once your domain uh, of course settings are configured your blog uh, blogger blog will be accessible through your free domain and obtained like start writing and publishing post to share your content with the world you can even if you don't want to use wordpress you can see always from from this here from the option of this uh, infinity free you can go to site builders example here and let's just wait for the page to loads and you can start like creating your site from here as you can see so if you don't see your website yet you can simply as you can see they, they told us that it will take three days and up to three days not like three days for sure so as you can see you can start a new site builder here you can give it like the domain name here and click a site create a site builder for example just paste that here click on create site builder and as you can see you can simply go and open to uh, edit your site however you want with the site project you can see so select one of the templates and start editing on your blog however you want you can even start with a blank template if you want to you can look for a blog as an example a blog template as you can see you can choose one of those and you can even ask of course administrator to enable this option you can all do that from the control panel because we didn't go through that so i'll not be able to so you can do that by your own so if you reached this point of this video congratulations you've obtained your free domain for your blogger blog and that's gonna be it so if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one and of course i'll see you in the next video so thanks for watching